All right, welcome everybody. Perfect timing. First game, Sviontek has a break point. It's 30-40. She just hits a winner. All right. Yannick Sinner gets the win. Straight onto the world number one. By the way, thank you so much for the super chat. Sorry I couldn't get to it in the last one. I, it just didn't come through on the... Again, I've got to figure that out. By the way, Wozniacki has got an ankle issue. 30-40. And also a wrist problem. So we'll see what happens. Whether or not she uh, can finish the match, really. As that goes in the back of Sviontek. Back in out from Wozniacki. It's a winner. Lovely shot. Unbelievable. Deuce. But, uh, winner of this will play Kostyuk, who just took out Potapova in a strange, <laughs> but then also maybe not so strange match. When it comes to WTA tennis, nothing's strange. Score lines are not strange. As we return now, Wozniacki backhand to backhand as she goes with a forehand into the forehand backhand of Sviontek. Forehand of Wozniacki. Sviontek gets it with the forehand of Wozniacki down the line of the net. And it's advantage to Sviontek. Wozniacki coming off the win against Kerber. And she has got her right wrist strapped and I think her left foot strapped as well. As we serve into the fourth, Shvantec, Shvantec shanks it, and it goes wide. All right, back to Deuce. We'll go through the preview as well at the end of this game. We also got uh, after this Elkaraz Zverev. We've got Medvedev taking on. Um, Taken on Runa as well. He's going to backhand now down the line from Wozniacki to the forehand of Sviontek. Wozniacki backhand. And Sviontek gets it again to the backhand of Wozniacki. Sviontek gets the point. Wozniacki overhits it. Advantage Sviontek. Advantage Sviontek. To take the break. Serving the Fornish Fiontek return goes into the back end of Wozniacki. And Fiontek gets a slice on the stretch, goes in the net. We're back to Deuce. Long first game, six minute game to start this off. As we get back to Deuce. It's a shame that Fiontek's, um, oh, sorry, that Wozniacki's. Got some injuries because she is competing well in these some of these rallies. Good serve. That goes out from Sviontek. Advantage Wozniacki. Advantage Wozniacki. As with a serve in the net. Second serve. Advantage Wozniacki. Second serve. As we return now, Sviontek to the back end of Wozniacki on the stretch. Goes in the front of Sviontek as Wozniacki hits a forehand down the line. Sviontek's there with the backhand into the front of Wozniacki. Again, the front of Sviontek. Wozniacki front again to the front of Sviontek. Into the back end of Wozniacki. Sviontek backhand down the line. Goes long. Wozniacki holds. One love. All right, let's get the preview because these two ladies have actually played once before. So there it is. Kostyuk getting through in straights. Uh, love and five uh, against Potapova, getting her first win against Potapova. And uh, of course, later on, we've got Goff taking on Yuan. We've got Saku versus Navarro as well. All right, Caroline Wozniacki, 204 in the world, 33 year old from Denmark. She is five foot 10 right handed, one win, three losses on the year. No titles this year, but she has got 30 career titles. And her uh, form has been all over the place because she's coming back from retirement. And Igor Sviontek, world number one, 22 year old from Poland. She is five foot nine, right handed, 14 weeks, 14 wins, I should say, uh, two losses. I was going to say 100 weeks and number one confirmed as well after this uh, tournament. One title that was in Doha a couple weeks ago, and her form has been very solid as expected. They played in Toronto in 2019 before Sviontek was Sviontek. And uh, 
He was a three-setter back then, but we know that Iga Shvionzik five years later is completely different. She didn't have any slams. I think she was like, what, 18 at the time? Nobody had heard of, heard of her, and uh, five years later, Wozniacki's been retired, and Shvionzik is uh, the best player on the planet by a, by a, by a mile, if you go by, uh, rec by um, titles and slams over the last five years. All right. Or at least the last uh, three years. Was it a forehand out of the backhand of Wozniacki? Four now, Shviontek inside out of the backhand of Wozniacki as Shviontek backhand goes long. Love 15. Love 15. And Shviontek serves again. Love 15. So don't see the four and it was. Niaki returned the back in the Shviontek in the net. Love 30. All right. Chance for... Chance for Wozniacki to get the break here. We do have Paul versus Rude. That's coming on as well. So we'll keep an eye out for that as well. In the next little bit. As Wozniacki... Sorry. Uh, Shviontek serves a fault. Second serve. Second serve. Down to the back of Wozniacki. Return goes into the back of Shviontek. Wozniacki on the stretch. Goes into the front of Shviontek. Into the front of Wozniacki again. And Wozniacki overhits it. 15-30. Now we do have the men's match coming up uh, with Alcaraz. Zverev coming up like in two hours. So we got some time chat. Fifteen thirty. Wozniacki looks to break early in this match, but it's a let from Shviontek. Fifteen thirty. Shviontek serves again into the forehand of Wozniacki. For now, Shviontek. Into the front of Wozniacki on the stretch. Lob goes up. Shviontek backhand. Into the backhand of Wozniacki who hits it wide. 30 all. Shviontek did have a bunch of break points in the first game of the match. But just couldn't break. And winner to play Kostyuk in, uh, in the semis tomorrow. Now, the winner of this match will play tomorrow, the first match tomorrow. It'll be Kostruk versus whoever, because that match, uh, the matches tonight for the ladies will be on second. Does that make sense? <laughs> Just to give everyone the, at least give everyone some, a fair try or a fair, fair time off. The serve now the backhand of Wozniacki. Four now, Shviontek, the front of Wozniacki. Shviontek backhand into the backhand of Wozniacki. Shviontek again with the backhand from Wozniacki. Goes down the line to the front of Shviontek. As Wozniacki goes again, the Fornish Fiontek to the back of Wozniacki on the stretch. Into the Fornish Fiontek. Wozniacki gets it. Fiontek with the smash. Puts it away. Good hustle from Wozniacki. 40 30. Fiontek to get on the board. 40 30. Shviontek serves again. Shviontek serves. The one of Wozniacki who goes wide. 1-1. One, one. In this first set. One game all. Okay. 13 minutes in. A lot of Polish people in the chat in the in the uh, crowd, because Wozniacki is parents are Polish, right? 
Just like Andrescu's family's Romanian. <laughs> it all makes sense. Ah, 1-1. One, one. Wozniacki with a fault. Second serve. By the way, if I call it her Wozniacki, it's going to be... Uh, it's going to take way... It's going to... It's not going to work. I know it's, that's how you pronounce it. It's Wozni, Wozniacki. But I can't say that properly without biting my tongue off. So I'm sorry if you can't listen to uh, hearing Wozniacki. But Wozniacki is, is good. I can get the V, the part of the first half, Voz. But Ski is not going to work. Wozniacki... See, I'm already butchering it. I'm saying it's slow. Wozniacki is not going to... I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. I'll try, but I can't. I'm already saying Sviantec, which is already difficult enough for English-speaking people. 15 all. As Wozniacki serves again. Into the net. Second serve. Second serve in the fourth of Sviantek. Sviantek in the net. Man, Ego does have a slow start. 30-15. We know that. 30-15. Where's Navarro come from? I think she comes from New York. 30-15. Let's call her by her husband's name. Nah. 30-15. There's a bit of let from... Rosniaki. Rosniaki serves again. A fault. Second serve. Second serve. Into the back of Sviantek. Good return. Rosniaki gets it. Into the Fornish Sviantek who hits a winner. 30 0. Navarro's from Charleston. Why do I think she was from New York? I thought we looked this up yesterday. Maybe she was born in New York. Oh, she resides in Charleston. Yeah, she was born in New York. And she's from Charleston. Well, she lives in Charleston. There you go. All right. Slice return goes wide. Rosniaki, 40-30. 40-30. As we get another serve from Wozniacki. Out wide to the back of Sviantek. Return goes into the forehand of Wozniacki. Now Sviantek gets a pass. Wozniacki with a drop shot. It's terrible. And Sviantek hits a pass to on the back end. We get the deuce. All right. We get the deuce. But Sviantek's pronunciation. Lawless, thank you. <laughs> if I get one right, like I said, if I say Vozniacki, what? Like I'll butcher it again, and I'm, I'm just Vozniacki is as close as I can get. Especially when you say it quick, Vozniacki, Vozniacki, like that's as close as I can get. Advantage, Vozniacki. Seventeen minutes played, by the way. It's been a long first set. So don't see the Fauna Sviantic return is chipped. Goes long. 2-1. Wozniacki. First set. The umpire said it the same way as, as Cam. <laughs> yeah, she said... I think she said in an interview she doesn't mind. It's, pronoun it's pronounced in the Polish way, but she doesn't mind people saying it. And if the players don't mind, then... Yeah. We do our best. That was the chair. Why is Simon Sinner dominating 2024? Because he realized his potential. And he is playing up to that potential. By the way, Paul and Rude is about to start. Um, I think, I don't know if Quality Shot is doing, are they doing Rude and Paul? I think they are. I think I saw that.
It's Farzan doing Rude versus Paul. No. That's disappointing. I was gonna say you can go watch uh, go watch him. Oh well. Um alright. Reply Cam, reply To what? What do you want me to what do you what do you want me to reply to? Vozniaki herself says she's okay with people saying her name as they as you do anyway. Yeah, look, if it's if the players are happy with how we say it, then that's all we can ask. I try my best. All right, two one, Vozniaki. In Denmark, we call her Wozniaki, same way as you do, no problem. Okay. Reply to reply cam. No, I don't know. Okay. Oh, by the way, chat. Yesterday, I went to the doctors. And, uh, my cholesterol has dropped. <laughs> so my heart won't explode. Yay! As that goes in the net from Sviantek in his love 15. Great news, chat. Great news. Great news. 2024. Let's go. <laughs> thank you appreciate it yes thank you appreciate it i have done no exercise all i have done is change some i just stopped eating eggs and had i had to take medication but that's okay can will live forever i mean I, I, I don't know that sounds terrifying uh love 15 thank you everybody appreciate it <laughs> it's a good serve into the back end of was the Aki. back end now from sri Lanka's a winner 15 all to celebrate with a pizza. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that's... Maybe. Anyways, 15 all. It's time to eat a stick of butter. No, I'm not going to push my luck. Get better sleep. Doctor's orders. You're not my doctor. My doctor said nothing about sleep. As we to serve as a fault second serve, Shriantek. So great news chat. I thought for sure it'd be the same. I thought, ah, nothing's changed. But the, the doc was very impressed by it, like cut in half. It was like, and then it was like normal. Like within like the span of months. So very excited. It's a very big deal for me personally. <laughs> All right. Shviontek serves again. So you're trying to level this one up. Must be cold out there. Everyone's wearing the long sleeves. 15.30. First serve's a fault. Second serve. Second serve. 21 minute played in this one. Second serve. Into the backhand of Wozniaki. Backhand of Shviontek. The backhand of Wozniaki who hits it wide. And it's 30 all. Did I change my diet a lot? Not really. Just some, like some, some, some changes. Not too much. Uh, 30 all. Uh, Shviontek serves. Into the fawn of Ozzyaki, but it's called a fault. Second serve. Yeah, look, I appreciate everybody in the chat giving me advice on my diet and my and my <laughs> cholesterol, but I'm good. I was just going to do what the doctor said because it seemed to work. So, but thank you for the advice. Uh, and she wants to get it out 30, 40. <laughs> thank you, but I'll just, I'll, just, I'll just refer to my doctor. But yeah, appreciate the, the advice. Break point, Vosniat, ski. 30-40. Dr. Chat. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Dr. Chat. Appreciate it. As we return out the back of Shviontek. In the net from Shviontek. Wow. 3-1. Bosniaki takes the break. All right. Shviontek off to a very slow start. All right, 
Three one. Three one. As Vosniaki serves. With the break here, Sriontek. 3 1. She's not playing well to start this match. Vosniaki, who's got her right ankle, her, left, her right wrist all strapped up. Was in, had a medical timeout in her last match. I mean, it's. She's definitely sore, but. She's up 3-1, and that helps. As that goes in the net from Sriantec, and it's love 15. Love 15. Love 15. There's a return out from Sriantec in the form of Bosniaki, who puts it in the net. 15-0. 15 all. 15 all. Vozniaki serves again. Fifteen always with a serve in the backhand. Sriantek goes wide on the return. 30-15. By the way, Paul and uh, Rude have just started. First game of their match. We'll keep an eye on that as well. 30-15. As we nice out wide, 40-15. Wow. I did not expect this. At all. I thought... I thought Sviantek would... Maybe wreck Wozniacki. This is not expected at all. Alright, serve. To get to 4-1. First serve is a fault. Second serve. Second serve. Into the four. And it's Fiontek return. Gets the forehand of Wozniacki. Hits it in the net. And it's 30-40-30. Uh, 25 minutes in. Fiontek usually doesn't start this slow. 40-30. By the way, if you're just joining us, uh, Novak Djokovic will not be playing in Miami. Go check out the video. Link in the channel. As we just serve as a fault. Second serve. Second serve. Second serve. That was a fault. First serve was a let. Sorry. Second serve now. Second serve into the back end. It's take Return goes wide. It's 4 1. What the hell? 4-1! Wozniacki with the lead. What the hell? Random as hell. By the way, Will Farrell is now back watching this match. <laughs> Love that. Um... You never need advice. You know chat has... You ever need advice, you know chat has your back. Yeah, I know. Ch look, look, chat is... Uh, we're all experts. 4-1. Uh, How are we? Will you answer my question? Can you answer my question, please? What sub chat? This is eager, so I won't call it yet. Anyone who says Fiance's going to lose from now is crazy. We haven't even started. I mean, it's 4 1. It's one break. I mean, come on. Wozniacki doesn't have, like, a, a, a Sabalenka serve. It's not like, you know, she has a good serve, but it's not like she's unbreakable, right? This is not over yet at all. Wozniacki playing like a smooth running machine. Yeah, she's playing solid. By the way, show we're almost at 300 likes. Appreciate that. Rude broken first game. Oof. Paul could win that. Paul really could win that. I don't think you I didn't pick him, but he could. By the way, chat, at the end of this match, we are, we'll go through the uh go through the postcards. There was four postcards in the PO box chat. 
So uh, we'll go through the postcards at the end of the match. To add to the wall. There's, we've got so many postcards now, chat. If you want to send a postcard, by the way, we're filling out this wall with uh, with postcards. So if you want to... You want your postcard on the wall? Um, P.O. Box somewhere. Was Plead Marta 1? Yeah. By the way, chat, if anyone's counting, <clears throat> I'm two for two. You know, if anyone's keeping scores, uh, two out of two. As that slice goes wide from Wozniacki, and it's 15 love. Just saying. Just saying. Uh, two, for <clears throat> two for two, you know. No big deal. No big deal, chat. 15 love. We get a serve now from Shriontek in the front of Wozniacki. For now, Shriontek. To the back end of Wozniacki. To the back end of Shriontek, but Wozniacki hits it long. 30 love. There you go. P.O. Box in the, in the chat there. All right. 30 love. Shriontek serves again. Into the body of Wozniacki. Return goes into the Fornish Fiontech, who puts away a nice drive volley. 40 love. Forty love. Forty love as we get a serve again from Fiontech to just stay in touch. Serve out wide as a fault. Second serve. Second serve in the form of Wozniacki. Return goes into the back and Shriantik hits it long. 40-15. 40-15. Yeah, Judy, the address is in the chat. I'm going to send one from uh, Mexico. 40-15. Uh, Shviontek serves the final Wozniacki. Return goes out and it's 4 2. Wozniacki with the break. Shviontek holds. <sighs> um, what happened to Ego? It's, we're just getting started. We're just getting started. All right, back to Wozniacki. Can she hang on to the break? Because Fiontech's going to start, you think would start doing some uh, doing some stuff. As we get a forehand now, long from Wozniacki. I saw from Fiontech, 15 love. 15 love. As Wozniacki serves again. A fault. Second serve. Second serve in the backhand is Fiontek. Return goes to the backhand of Wozniacki as Fiontek gets backhand down the line. Wozniacki on the stretch. Into the front of Fiontek. To the front of Wozniacki down the line. Fiontek's backhand goes cross court. Hit the tape. Goes in. Wozniacki gets it with a slice. Fiontek there with a slice down the line is a winner. Good hustle. This is going to be on Tennis TV, bro. And it's 15 all. Good running from Shviontek. 15-0. And she says sorry for hitting the tape on that shot. She got a little lucky. 15-0. As Wozniacki serves a fault. Second serve. Second serve. In the back of Shviontek. Return goes in the back end of Wozniacki. As Shviontek gets a slice in the net. And it's 30 15. Will Farrell cheering on Wozniacki, I think. He's like, go, Caro! 
30-15. First serve in the net. Second serve. Second serve. In the back of Shriantek. Four now from Rosniak on the stretch. Shriantek gets a forehand inside out for a winner. 30 all. Okay. All right. World number one's here now. 30 all. Thirty all. Vosniaki needs a good serve. Now why the foreign Triantek return goes in the point of Vosniaki as Triantek gets the foreign in the line. Vosniaki with a backhand on the stretch. Triantek on the attack as Vosniaki puts up a lob. Triantek swinging volley. Vosniaki gets it, but Triantek puts away the backhand volley. Unbelievable. And it's break back point 30 40. To get back on serve. 30 40. 30 40. 30 40. He's got a good serve there from Wozniaki. Shriante gets it back with the forehand into the forehand of Wozniaki. 4 to 4 now. And Shriante goes again wide and throws the hands in the air because the ball had a weird bounce, apparently. Deuce. Yeah, Rude. Uh, isn't Paul up a break already? Keep an eye on that as well. As we get to Deuce. Serve out wide. Well, down the tee is a fault. Second serve. Second serve. Vozniaki. Out wide to the Fornish Fiontek. Return goes back into Vozniaki. As we get back into Fiontek. Into the front of Vozniaki. Again, the Fornish Fiontek. Wozniaki forehand cross court. Shriantek hits it long. Advantage Wozniaki for the 5 2 lead. Advantage Wozniaki. Yeah, Paul Rudd. He's playing. And he's 50% he's, he's 50 winning, 50 winning, and not really. Swing volley, Shriantek puts that away, back to Deuce. Paul's about to go a three love though, double break, I mean that's serious. Alright. As Shriantek with a tenth winner, but she's down a break here as we go to four and down the line from Vozniak, he goes long. And it's advantage, Shriantek. To take back this break. Pulls up three love against Rude. All right, serve out wide the back of Shriantek. Return goes in the back end of Wozniaki. Shriantek with a slice. To the back end of Wozniaki in the net. Back on serve. Shriantek. Breaks back. Three, uh, four, three. Wozniaki with a lead, but it's on serve now. Okay. All right. What's up, chat? Answer my question! The question, jerk! Do we have any questions? Any tennis questions? Any questions? Paul's killing it. Shviontek number one for a reason. Uh, now you can really see where we're from with the postcards. Yeah, exactly. That's that's the reason why the postcards... I want everyone to send postcards, because I want to see where you guys are actually from. Yeah, not Mars, or the moon. <laughs> What's a swing volley? So a swinging volley is like a drive volley. It's when you, you hit like a forehand or a backhand normally, but without the ball bouncing. So you hit it in the air. It's a forehand, but without the ball bouncing. Forehand inside out, that's when you hit the ball... Diagonally, the cross court is diagonal. Forehand to forehand for the right handers. Forehand to backhand diagonally the other way is inside out. Or off. Off forehand, inside out forehand. Is Djokovic done when he slams? No. 
I'm surprised you haven't got any postcards from Mars. If we get a postcard from Mars, that would be insane. Somebody send a postcard from Mars, please. I beg you. Novak withdrew from Miami. Why is that? Because he wants to play on clay because the Olympics, right? At least that's what we all assume, right? He hasn't said anything, but... Uh, what is the secret or secret for of ego? Win-win. That's it. I didn't ask in a negative. No, no, I'm saying, KC. I'm saying, like, if you could find a Mars postcard, which I don't know how, maybe on, like, the you know Elon Musk website or something, or the Jeff Bezos website, but it would be interesting to have, like, is there a postcard with, I mean, it would actually be funny if somebody sent me a postcard from Mars, or at least a postcard with Mars on it from wherever they're actually from. <laughs> Anyways, 15 love. As Fiontech serves, back on serve. So about why the back end of Wozniacki return goes in the four and back end of Shviontek. Back end of Wozniacki. Again to the back end of Shviontek, who hits up down the line for a winner. 30 love. 30 love. Thirty love as Shviontek tries to level this first set. She was down four one. Alright, thirty love. As we get a fault from Shviontek, second serve. Second serve. Into the forehand of Wozniacki as that goes out in the return. 40 love. Eight of the last 10 points for Yontex. One. 40 love. And Fiontech serves again. Into the back end of Wozniacki. Back end of Fiontech, the forehand of Wozniacki. Into the back of Fiontech on the stretch. As Wozniacki goes in the Fornish Fiontech. Won it from Wozniacki in the net. 4 4. Just like that. Fiontech gets back on serve. Okay. Postcard from Bruno Mars. <laughs> That's so funny. That's so silly. It's funny, though. All right. 4 0. Fiontech has won the last three games. As Wozniacki serves again. A let. And she serves again, Wozniacki. Serve as a fault this time. Second serve. Second serve. Into the back end of Shviontek. Back end of Wozniacki. Into the back end of Shviontek. As Wozniacki goes down the line. Shviontek with a forehand. Into the front of Wozniacki. Again, the front of Shviontek who hits it long. And it's 15 love. Fifteen love. As Wozniacki serves again. A fault. Second serve. Second serve into the back end of Shviontek. Forehand from Wozniacki. Again to the forehand of Shviontek. It's Wozniacki. It's a forehand wide. 15 all. Fifteen all. As Wozniacki serves again. Down to see the back and Fiance return goes the front of Wozniacki. We hit the tape, it goes in. Fiance with the pass. Wozniacki volleys it wide. 1530. <clears throat> 1530. Here we go. Fiontech taking over. 
As Wozniacki serves. Another fault. Second serve. Second serve. In the back of Triantic hits it in the net on the return. 30 all. 30 all. Is Triantic playing Miami? Uh, yes, at this stage. Uh, 30 all. As we return now, Wozniacki backhand to the backhand slash Triantic. Wozniacki with a swinging volley in the net. Set, uh, break point. 30-40. For, uh, for Sviantek to win four in a row and then serve for the set. 30-40. Wozniacki serves a fault. Second serve. Second serve into the back end of Sviantek, back end of Wozniacki. Into the front of Sviantek as Wozniacki gets back end again to the front of Sviantek. Into the front of Wozniacki as Sviantek goes down the middle in the net. And we get back to Deuce. It's been a weird match. Both hitting a lot of errors. 15 errors already for Sviantek. That is not normal. As Wozniacki serves. The point of Sviantek. Good return. Backhand of Wozniacki as Sviantek gets a backhand. Again, the backhand of Wozniacki as Sviantek goes down the line with a backhand winner. That's more like it. Unbelievable. And it's advantage Sviantek. Advantage Sviantek to take the lead for the first time. By the way, pulls off four love against Rude. It's getting ugly over there. 45 minutes played. Break point again. Sviantek to take the lead. As Wozniacki serves. Down the tee. A fault. Second serve. Second serve. Down the tee. The front of Sviantek. Return the back end of Wozniacki. Sviantek with the forehand. Into the front of Wozniacki on the stretch. Sviantek cross court again. Straight to Woz Wozniacki. A bit of Sviantek for one again. Slice. Wozniacki. Sviantek goes down the line and wide. Man, she could have gone down the line on one of those shots. Wozniacki was not running back. But she didn't. And it's Deuce. Navarro to beat Zachary. That could happen. That could, that could definitely happen. Navarro is playing so well right now. And Zachary has been good, but, you know, we all know what... Now Zachary has been overall, right? Back in a backhand rally. As Wozniacki serves cross court into the Fornish Fiontek. Wozniacki again. The Fornish Fiontek into the front of Wozniacki. And Fiontek gets the forehand down the line. Wozniacki on the stretch with the backhand. To the backhand, Fiontek into the front of Wozniacki. As Fiontek with the forehand again to the front of Wozniacki. Into the Fiontek forehand as Wozniacki goes down the line for a winner. And everybody loved that. And she shakes her fist. Advantage Wozniacki. Advantage Wozniacki. To take the lead back. Will Farrell loves it. Wozniacki serves again. A fault. Second serve. Second serve is a double fault. Check myself in there. All right, we get to deuce. Four-one to Paul, by the way. In his first set. Now we get to deuce. And Bosniaki serves a fault. Second serve. Second serve. Into the front of Sviantek. Return goes to the front of Wozniacki. As Sviantek hits a forehand. 
Down the line for a winner. Advantage for Yontech. Again. To take... To take the break and lead. Root to win. My man Bar. My man Bar. Wait, what? All right. Shriantic with an eighth break point. There's a bit of serve. Into the net. Second serve, Wozniacki. Second serve. Second serve. Into the backhand of Shriantic. Return goes in the backhand of Wozniacki. Shriantic on the stretch. Into the backhand of Wozniacki. Shriantic with a pass. Wozniacki volley. Shriantic can't get it. Solid volley. And we get back to Deuce. Huge game for Wozniacki here. She was up 4-1 if you're just joining us. She had a commanding lead. And she just wrong foot Shriantek with the volley. Is it a serve? How wide the form of Shriantek, but it's called a let. Wozniacki serves again. So that while the forehand of Shriantic return goes to the forehand of Wozniacki. Back in a Shriantic. The back end of Wozniacki. Into the forehand of Shriantic. As Wozniacki goes off the tape into the forehand of Shriantic. Now to the back end of Wozniacki. Who hits it in the net. Advantage Shriantic. To get the break and lead again. Or lead for the first time. If only Wozniacki had a bit bigger serve. Yeah, I feel like there was two different types of players in the 2010s. It was the big hitters, big servers, and then there was the counter-punching defenders. It was the Serenas and the Wozniakis, right? You know, Serena, Sharapova, Azarenka, and then you had like Wozniaki, Halep, and um, and like Rozvanska, right? I'm sort of big serving, or there was no, there was like great returning. <laughs> it was about it. Or counter-punching, right? As with a four and a four and rally. Into the backhand now of Wozniacki. Slice goes into the Fornish Fiontek as Wozniacki with a forehand. Into the Fornish Fiontek. The backhand of Wozniacki. Fiontek with the backhand again. The backhand of Wozniacki. Fiontek on the stretch. Again at the backhand slice of Wozniacki. Fiontek. Forehand cross court. As uh, Wozniacki in the net. And it's 5 4. Fiontek leads for the first time in this match. He takes. The break, 51 minutes. This is a very long Shriantek match. Caroline used to drive Sharapova crazy like a brick wall, yeah. Yeah, that's that's a skill, you know? A skill is the defense, right? We do still have players like that, but it's more... Uh, it feels like the WTA is starting to become more all-round, right? And that's thanks to Barty. You know, Barty's a huge reason why the tour is more of an all-round kind of tour, right? You know, players can't just have a big serve and can't run, or you know, players can't just hit a good, like hit a return and hope for the best anymore. You gotta, you gotta be able, you gotta be a little bit more versatile. All right, Vozniaki looks tired. Yeah, don't make me cry again. I miss Barty. Don't worry, we all do. But it's been two years, so we should be fine. Um, by the way, Rude breaks back. He gets one of the breaks back. 4-2. First set over there. What's up, Trance? How you doing? Voz isn't feeling her best and will tire fast. Okay. Pagula is playing more aggressive, but can play defensive. True. I mean, I'm, I mean, like, look at Sabalenka, right? She's trying to come to the net a little more. Uh, hitting drop shots yesterday or the other days, you know? Shviontek's trying to get a bigger serve because she's got the other shots, but you know, it feels like her serve needs needs a bit more uh, a bit more on it. So yeah. I mean the men's game's the same. All rounders are, are the ones that are doing everything. You, if you don't have every shot, it's gonna be really hard to win. You know, we look at players that can't volley or players that don't have a a big uh, you know big serve. Even look at Demon alright, guy who was more of a, a brick wall, he's being forced to be more aggressive than he than we're used to seeing. Medvedev's trying to be more of a volleyer, which is weird, but you know he, he knows that that's what these other guys do. As we're gonna slice the net, Shriantek, love fifteen. But um, 
It's only good for the game if everybody is forced to improve, forced to play, you know, forced to play differently. Federer forced everybody to be different too. Go, go watch Andy Roddick in 2003 and then go watch Andy Roddick in 2009. I mean, he tried to, he was serve volleying, trying to be a, a, a volleyer. Hewitt was the same. He was trying to be more aggressive, beefed up the serve in 05, you know. And that was because Federer raised the bar. And that's, that's how things change. All right, love 15. As we get a serve out wide, the back end of Wozniacki. Shvion's like seven for the set here. He's got a forehand open call for a winner. And it's 15 all. Yeah, Djokovic has improved his serve. He's coming to the net more as well, Djokovic, than what he was doing maybe 10 years ago. Uh, 15 all. As Sviantek serves out wide, the forehand of Vozniaki. Return the back to Sviantek. As Vozniaki's backhand into the backhand of Sviantek. Again, to the backhand of Vozniaki. It's in the net. 30 15. If you're just joining us, Sviantek was down 4 1 in this set. Vozniaki got off to a good start, or at least Sviantek. Didn't get off to a good start. Thirty fifteen. 15 Shviontek says, in here, the forehand of Wozniacki. Return the back to Shviontek. Into the back of Wozniacki. Down the line's a great shot. Shviontek with a slice lob, but it goes long. 30 all. 30 all. Shviontek in a little trouble here. Needs to serve. 30 all. Thirty all as Shviontek serves again. Two points away from the first set as she serves out wide the form of Wozniacki, but it's called a let. Trying to serve again. Thirty all. Thirty all as Wozniacki, uh, sorry, uh, Shviontek serves a fault. Second serve. Second serve. Down to see the back end of Wozniacki. For now, Shviontek is a winner. All right, set points. Set point to Eager. 40-30. It was a weird start to this match. 4-1 down. But this is... Uh, I feel like we're just waiting for this to happen. We knew that she wasn't going to... Go down without a fight. 40-30. Shriontek set the first set here. She serves. An ace! Bang! Down the tee. 6-4. I think Shviante, uh, Wozniacki either called the trainer or was going to the bathroom. She has got pain in her wrist and her ankle, apparently. So we'll see what uh, if a trainer is going to make any difference. All right. First set, 6-4. Yep, trainer on court for Wozniacki. Looks like it uh, could be the wrists. I don't know. If, I don't think Wozniacki's going to finish this match. She look, she's shaking her head like, I don't know. It looks like she's pointing at her right toe. And this is what happens when you don't play that much. Come out here, play four really tough matches, and then you go to play Shviontek, and your body falls apart. But maybe she can't play. Remember, we, we talked about it in the last match. Maybe she's got the... Uh, the arthritis is, might be the part, reason why she doesn't want to push herself too much. Gonna take off the shoe, which we don't. I don't want to say that. Okay, we got the trainer out for Wozniacki. All right, how we doing, chap? Will you answer my question? Can you answer my question, please? She had to sit with medical for several minutes. Okay. Someone earlier said Shviontek wins 6-4 walkover. Yeah, 
I mean, she's got her foot super wrapped up, and that is... They're going for the... T uh, I don't want to see the toenails. <laughs> Chat, if they're poking around the toes, you know it's going to be something... Something gnarly. Yeah, we don't want to see that. Not an athlete's foot. No, we don't want to see that. Premier Tour proposal to get rid of the world rankings. Just have the race to the finals. Uh, seems stupid to me. That's a great... Um, that's a good... Uh, let's talk about it. Um, so... So, the, I, I, I'm looking at the Premier Tour, right? So, there's two different things that are happening in tennis right now. From my, my what I can think. So, you've got the Saudi fund who want to buy the ATP and the WTA for a billion dollars each. So, two billion dollars combined. Now, they don't want to merge the tours. They just want to own the tours, Right? So they buy this one, they buy this one, and they just have them. And they can do what they will with, you know, they can put 1,000 events where they want. Like, they control, they'll, they'll be in control of tennis, right? They'll, they'll have a say in tennis, right? They said they don't want to disrupt tennis, which is good. But they, they will be the owners of tennis, except for the slams. That's different. And then the slams are, are making their own minds up because the Saudi fund are not going to the slams. The slams are doing their own thing. And this is what the Premier Tour is offering, according to John Wertheim. Four majors, 10 combined 1,000 events, or 96 draw events that are 10 days long, all of them outdoor. So straight away you think, well, what the hell happens to Paris indoors? That gets canned. And they're going to make 10 combined 1,000s, or combined 96 player draws. So, you know, we can guess what those are. With equal prize money. A team event, probably Davis Cup. A race, a rankings race that isn't a 52 rollover ranking, which is what we do now, which is a bit of a, people are confused about that. And a combined WTA ATP year-end final, which I think I've been talking about for years. Like the last couple of years, I'm like, why don't we have that? <laughs> and then also eight guaranteed weeks off at the end of the season. So the, the season will end in October, you would, you would say, and then they have eight weeks off. Or maybe start in November. And then eight weeks off confirmed for both men and women, right? So let's talk about the 10 combined masters. What could be happening? So Indian Wells, right? Miami, Madrid, Rome, Canada, Cincinnati. Probably one in Beijing or maybe Shanghai or, you know, maybe they combine those or they, you know, do two combined ones. And then you probably get one in Dubai or Doha, right? Um, Monte Carlo, that's probably not going to be, that probably gets canned because... Unless they can fit the ladies in there somehow, I don't know how that becomes a 10, a 96 player draw. There's no chance. Not big enough. Uh, and then combined, no chance. And then the Paris indoors, no chance. That's going to get kicked out because they're doing all outdoor events only. So they'll get rid of that. So you would say that the middle, like the, um, you know, Dubai and Doha would probably fill the gap. Maybe they create a new event somewhere, somewhere. I don't know. Now the big thing is what the hell is this like ranking system so i did some digging because it's apparently more like golf so the way that golf works and i i kind of want to see how that kind of this works so the golf i think it's like the the top one is it the top 150 or the top 200 get a pga card so that means they can play on the main tour they have to qualify through a bunch of different ways they can come into the main the main thing and for the whole year, they are in the PGA. Now, if their ranking drops or they get they they don't win, uh, they don't get enough points, they drop to like you know if they drop outside the top one twenty five, then the people that are playing the like qualifier tour, I guess you could call it, they have a chance to kick out and relegate those players outside the top one twenty five. That's in golf. I think that's a really interesting concept. It's really confusing, and it's not like what we know because we got like there's a lot of questions. Like the first week of the year, is everyone zero? Like what happens? But it's an interesting uh, it's an interesting concept to have it like kind of like golf, where the top 100 are in the Premier Tour, and then people every year have to fight for their spot in the Premier Tour. So that means if you drop out of the top 100, you have to play the Qualifier Tour for a year. To then qualify for the main tour. And it's like, that's an interesting concept. I don't know how that would work, but there's some, a lot of questions. But it's an interesting idea. Um, so yeah, 
So that's that's where we're at with all of that. So we'll see what happens. Because like I said yesterday, tennis is going to change. It's either going to be bought by the Saudis and they're going to make changes because they want a Saudi Arabia 1000. Or the Premier Tour is going to be is going to be something that, that comes about. Or we have both, which would be really weird. All right, 15-0. First set goes to Wozniak. Uh, sorry, Sviantek. And Wozniak puts up a lob and it goes long. 15-30. Let's see if Wozniak plays out this set. She did just have a medical timeout on her foot. All right. Rafa and Andy at the moment would never get that card. Yeah, but the thing is, um, they probably give, like, wild card picks, I guess. Um, so, like, if some players are injured, they might keep their spot. Even if they're, like, you know, like, protected ranking might be protected to a card or something. As she feels like it's back in winner. Anyways, we, we'll find out more as this goes on. Hopefully, we get more information, you know, soon so we can understand how this all works. But um, I I don't know. I I don't I feel like there's, there's some interesting ideas being thrown around. I like... I don't mind change. Don't mind change. Let's let's see how if it if it benefits the players and fans, right? Fifteen forty, break points here as Vozniaki goes to Fornish Fiontek. Forno Vozniaki again to the Fornish Fiontek into the Forno Vozniaki, who's trying to hit a bit more aggressive here. Fiontek gets a forehand winner. Vozniaki's calling it. She's walking straight to the net. I think it looks like is she going? Is she calling? Yeah, she's calling it straight away. You knew it was going to happen. All right, Fiontek gets the win. Vozniaki calls it a day. They hug it out. You kind of felt that was going to happen. That's a shame. Vozniaki retires due to a foot injury. And Sviantek's into the semis. But uh, it, it kind of felt that way. She got the medical timeout. She didn't look like she was going to go on. And she gets broken. And that's that. Sviantek wins into the semifinals again. For the third year in a row. Okay. Yeah. Look, hey, look, though. Let's give Caro some credit because she had a good week for the quarterfinals of a big tournament for the first time. She had 4 1 against Fiontech. I mean, that was not nothing. She was up 4 1 in the first set. So you got to give her a little bit of credit for that. But uh, Wozniacki, will she play Miami? Will she play on clay? Who knows? She might just go play Wimbledon. All right. Respect to Wozniacki. Yeah. Yeah, look. She's come back from injury, uh, sorry, from retirement, and uh, unfortunately hasn't played that much. But um, and that's what happens when you, you don't play much and then you have a really good week, you're going to be really sore. By the way, Paul just won the first set 6 2 against Rude. Now we've got a couple of hours for the next match. <laughs> this is why we need all the quarterfinals. We need five quarterfinals on center court. Unless they promote Goff's match, but that's happening. No, they won't, they won't do that. Um, all right. Uh, Voz will play Miami. Don't think it's a serious wound. Okay, we'll see. We will see. If anyone should retire, it's rude, making Paul look like Federer. Cool. Uh, let's face it, after giving birth, it's over for women in tennis. God, okay. Um, that's not true, but okay. What's your opinion on Sviantek semi-final matchup? Um, Kostruk versus Sviantek. Uh, interesting match. Sviantek should win. In it would be close because you know Kostruk's been good, but um, should be fun. Should be a fun one. Sviantek the favorite to win Miami and Indian Wells. Indian Wells, yeah. Miami, maybe, maybe Miami. Um, she had a purple toenail coming into the tournament. Ouch. <laughs> I don't want to know. I don't want to know, chat. I don't want to know. All right, chat. So um, we have two options. We can chill. Or we can watch the rest of the Paul match. Because... Paul versus Rude. Just uh, one set down. We could watch the rest of that. We do have Alcaraz coming on in about an hour. So, um... 
we might have a potential clash. Or we could um, come back in an hour. <laughs> Let's watch Paul is rude. Paul rude match, please. Okay. All right. All right. You twisted my arm. Um, all right. Let me just uh, set it up because I'm not ready for this. Um, all right. We'll watch the rest of Paul versus rude because it is... Uh, Interesting to see how how uh, Tommy Paul is doing. I haven't seen him in the flesh yet. So the only thing I don't like about this schedule is that I love watching everything from the quarterfinals onwards, but today we just haven't been able to because, uh, yeah, it's just been a bit of a mess. Because um, they put everything on at the same time all at once. You know? uh, what am I doing? Where am I doing? Right, hang on. All right, we'll watch. Uh, we'll see if Rude can come back against Paul. But um, let me just set things up. I think I set it up right. Yeah. All right, I'll send you over there, chat, and you can uh, we can get things started. I mean, we'll read our postcards. We've still got those, so we'll do that as well at some point. Um, all right. Might as well keep this show going. Now, right, here you go, chat. Ah, right, there you go. You can jump over there. We'll uh, we'll we'll start that one up as well, and we'll see if Casper Rude can fight back against Tommy Paul. But um, sad result, or uh, disappointing result uh, for Wozniacki. Unfortunately, unable to continue after the medical timeout, having to retire due to a foot problem. Uh, she did have a wrist problem as well, so uh, that's a little bit of a shame. But she won't take into the semi. She plays Kostchuk, six four one love retirement. She's into the third, uh, into the her third semi final in a row. Let's see what Paul and Rude have to offer.